Okay, let's get a check on the local forecast now with Michelle. We uh, want to talk more about the earthquake that hit yesterday early morning, just about uh, 10 past 9. As you see behind us, though, other top weather story is it's September-like weather now in November. It continues. Yeah, record warmth yeah. this weekend. Of course, the earthquake happening yesterday yeah. morning about 9, 10 a.m. It was focused just off of the coast of Dartmouth and Buzzards Bay. It was a 3.6 magnitude earthquake, and it was felt all across southern New England, all the way up, in fact, into southern New Hampshire. And so uh, kind of notable for the size and the strength of it. It was a shallow quake, 3.6 quake that we can feel here in southern New England doesn't happen too often. Looking at our East Providence camera, we do have that hazy sunshine in the capital city. It's going to be a beautiful day, record breaking potentially. The record to beat is 74 degrees, and that was set back in 1945. It would be the third record breaking day in a row if we can do it. We're currently in the 40s still in Providence, but we've jumped up to 58 in Smithfield. But a wide range in these temperatures right now. New Bedford's at 45, 52, Hyannis 39 still in Willimantic. And in general, this is very close to where we we were yesterday at this time. So I do expect the temperatures like we've seen the last two days to warm up quickly. There's dry air in place. There's lots of sunshine. We had some fog early this morning, but that's quickly moving out. So by 10 a.m. up to around 60 by lunchtime, close to 70 and the afternoon highs today ranging from the upper 60s at the coast to the low to mid 70s inland. So Wickford today going to be coming in around 73 warm and sunny. Southwest winds light about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Middle 70s expected in Providence, Johnston, Coventry, Foster near 75, Woonsocket possible. There could be a few spots that hit the upper 70s again today. And we're going to be closer to 72 in Dartmouth and Westport, 73 Fall River, and about 75 in Seekonk, Attleboro, and Taunton today. This evening, it cools off quickly. We've also been noticing that the last few days. Sun going down at 4.30, so by 7 o'clock in the evening, we're, we've cooled almost 20 degrees, down to 56. And the temperatures by 10 o'clock down to 51. Late tonight, I expect us to see some low clouds and fog developing particularly near the coastline. Overnight lows should stay closer to between 45 and 50 degrees tonight. So we've got another mild and dry day tomorrow. Not quite as warm as today, but high pressure is providing all this warm, dry weather in the eastern United States. But this is the cold front that's going to be pushing our way Wednesday into Thursday and bringing about that change in the temperature. Notice this afternoon, 70s in Chicago, 70s here in New England. 30s across the northern plains. As that front pushes east, it does moderate some, so we're not looking at highs in the 30s, but we will get back to more seasonable November weather by the end of the week, and that's going to be low to mid 50s. Another look at that Ada track here. Again, check back in with us because there is some uncertainty with exactly where this is going to head, but the storms off the coast of Florida could be potentially back into northern Florida by the end of the week. That cold front for us that's going to bring the temperature changes will also bring some rainfall. Here's the timing of it. 74 today, dry and sunny tomorrow near 70 degrees. On Veterans Day, we start off dry, clouds thickening up. Temperatures are still mild. The air is muggy and breezy during the day with a chance for some showers by the evening hours and continuing into Thursday. Some of our computer models show a good inch or two of rainfall with that front before drier weather returns at the end of the week.